Okay, I'm going to show you how easy it is to update your permalink structure with Dean's Permalinks plugin. Go to your options and permalinks area. Now, of course, if you still have the default options, you don't have to worry about this. But take a look at what you've got your permalinks set to. One of the first things I learned about WordPress was that it, you didn't always want to use the default option, um, and a custom option was better. Well, uh, this is the custom option I used Ar the word archives and then the post ID. Just like anything, it's always good to make a quick note of what something used to be like before you changed it so you can put it right back if anything goes wrong. Now the permalink structure I'm going to want to use is the category name and the post name. This will give you a nice friendly URL that a human or a search engine can understand easily. Go to your, you just drop down to Dean's permalinks and you activate it. At this point, if you go back to options, you'll see that you have a new area called permalinks, permalinks Migration, and you want to make sure that that's pre-populated with your existing permalink information, which it is. Then you just go to Permalinks, you paste in what you really want to be, then you update your permalink structure, and you should get a message that says you were successful. If you get this message that says you should update your HT Access now, then scroll to the bottom and make sure that this code is in your HD access file. That means that your HD access file was not writable, which is sometimes a security issue. And I don't want to get into that right here. The point is, it's that easy to change. And normally, if your HD access is writable, it'll just happen automatically. Now, let's see if it worked. I'm going to do a search for hate office 2007. And there is my. Uh, result that's my article you'll notice that the URL is this unfriendly URL so I'm gonna click on this and it takes me right to the article and I can show you that the URL is changed to a much more friendly one but more importantly what are the search engines being told when they visit your old URLs if you do a Google search for server response check and you just visit any one of the top results you can paste in your old URL then check the redirect for yourself at which point you can see that it's correctly returning a 301 response I'm not going to be able to answer specific technical questions about this plugin but if you ever have general questions feel free to ask Scott right over here on my blog and you just visit any one of the top results you can paste in your old URL then check the redirect for yourself, at which point you can see that it's correctly returning a 301 response. I'm not going to be able to answer specific technical questions about this plugin, but if you ever have general questions, feel free to ask Scott right over here on my blog.